Great news. It only took Wizards of the Coast three months to ship these out. Well, two and a half, if you want to be precise. Two and a half months to ship out these secret layer Godzilla lands. And there's a secret little planeswalker with some awesome art inside each one. We're going to crack each one of those open. I can't believe it took that long. I also can't believe it's not butter. But seriously, it dropped way back on May 7th. And just now, I received it. There's something else I ordered as well. I haven't received that yet. I can't even remember what it was because it was so long ago. I'm sure I'll check my email and all that good stuff. But also, 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 this is really, this is going to be a lot of fun. I've been getting hounded by you guys to crack open fan mail. So we are going to do that as well today. I got four to open and uh, a code to give away. 60 of these uh, cards from this Planeswalker deck. I was supposed to do it in another video. But instead, we are going to do it in this video. I will pick someone at random, and then I'm going to be like, hey, man, you won. Congrats. Email me. And it's going to be that simple. Just make sure all the basic stuff, you're subscribed, you like the video, and you comment something. Uh, and that way I can find you. That's how it's going to go down. This is going to be a lot of fun. Thank you, everyone, for sending stuff out. Let's get into cracking, Captain. And tell me, how long did it take for Wizards of the Coast to send out your stuff? Let me know in the comments. Skoosh. Beautiful. Beautiful. Secret Lair Drop Series Godzilla lands. There was rumor these were going for like $70 to $90 because it was just taking so long to ship. I wonder what they're going for now. But really, I'm just fascinated with the art on these. And that's the reason I wanted to get them. Get my hands on some of these dirty dirties. Uh, yeah, but in the comment section, if you would like uh, a chance at that Planeswalker, the two Planeswalker decks, um, just leave a comment. Anything. I don't care what you say. Anything you want, man. Tell me how you're feeling. Tell me your thoughts on whatever. Tell me your thoughts on uh, the new Double Masters. Anything, really. Oh, my goodness. Get a load of that in all of its glory. Ooh, baby. That is sharp. Let's take this out. There's our mystery card in the bottom. I've learned from opening these. <laughs> you could just take it out this way. But also, they put some sticky icky on here. So there's a slight chance, if you're not careful, you could damage the card inside because they put so much gunk on the card or on the plastic there pretty nuts and these feel amazing let me tell you all right enough of my jibber jabber let's just take a look at these sweet awesome lands and then we're gonna get into all the mystery uh planeswalkers that's how it's gonna go down charlie brown Ooh, that comes right out oh, beautiful 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 all right start with number one in the flesh we have these in hand that is pretty gorgeous you see those streaks running down, though? Is that normal? What? What? Oh, my gosh. They're damaged. you got to be kidding me. Why? Do you see that on the left? You ha they, These have to be just so noticeable. Right here, running down. Oh, my. And even in the middle a little bit. Why, wizards? You spent that much time to get these out, and then they're damaged. You sent me basically, what, six cards? For $29.99, and the first one on top is clearly as streaks running down it. Wow. Beautiful art, though. But, man, I don't understand what's going on with quality control. This one looks pretty sharp, though. So maybe, hey, if you get a mint condition planes one, it might be worth a lot of money. Because <laughs> it might be the only one. All right, so that one's pretty gorgeous, too. I'm not seeing any streaks on that. But, man, really cool. Godzilla. Growing up as a little boy, a little Joey Moss, you know, love me some Godzilla movies. All right, and then we have this guy right here, pretty cool. Godzilla way in the distance there. It's like, no, it's not the creature, it's just, it's just you know, Godzilla in the back fighting some random stuff. Who could tell me what, uh, what monster that is that he's going after? Who can tell me that? Nice art, Lucas. Pretty legit. Yeah, no streaks on this one. Really, really pretty, though. Really gorgeous to look at. Oh, one of my favorites. This red one is pretty hot sauce. Off-center, how that's even possible, I don't know, but you can see it's off-center. Uh, I just don't get quality control, man. I, I, like, is, that, is that just me? Is anyone else like a little, uh, a little upset, not happy with... Uh, <laughs> you got five of these, and they're off-center, and there's scratches on them. Like That is not a good thing. Uh, yeah, it cannot be a good thing. And then we have this green one, which is really cool. You guys have seen me use this on Magic the Gathering Arena many, many times over. 
There it is in all of its gloriness. Oh, yes. Little Godzilla way in the back there, just hanging out. All right, let's get into the fun stuff. What a oh, what are we going to have inside here? I don't want to leave it inside. I'm going to take it out of its little wrappage. Oh, no, that was a terrible opening. Okay, let's try this again. I'm really pumped to see what's all inside these, uh, uh, all the fan mail that was sent out. Because, man, you guys sent me the craziest stuff. It is really nutty. Let's make sure we don't damage this. Could you imagine I just put like a put it right through that? That would not be fun. Okay. For all the marbles. Here we go. Ooh, oh! Oh! Ho, ho, Donald Mike, gorgeous looking lady. Nissa, you have never looked better before. My dear, my dear. We do have some marks on the top right though. You see those little dots? Yeah. That came out that way. Anyway, that's what it is. Um back looks pretty good. There is a curvature in this one. I don't know if you can see that, but there is a little slight bend. I just wanted to go over all the quality control issues Wizards has. Their stamp is off-center. It's to the left. I don't know how it's possible, man. You're asking this much money for these kind of things, and um, you're, you're, doing a, you're doing a crappy job. Let's face facts. You are doing a crappy job. But uh, that's a pretty nice Nissa right there. All right. On to the next. Now, we're not going to go over the lands. Maybe I should go over these lands as well. Um, really quick though, nothing like the first one, but just to make sure the damage is not that real, you know, the damage is not that real. Maybe it's a fluke. Let's give wizards the benefit of the doubt. And there's been a lot of people complaining about the quality, um, on wizards products. I mean, they got to maybe change something up or do something different. I have no idea, but something's got to give, you know, they got to step it up. Um, if they're going to keep asking these prices or you know what? Stop buying them. There's another thing. Stop buying them. If they can't, Oh, come on. And, and this crazy glue you guys put on the bottom of this, can we, like, you know, maybe put a smaller dot there? You know, uh, tell the machine, like, tone it down a notch, you know, or something? That'd be pretty cool as well. All right, let's just look for quality control on these. Twenty nine ninety nine. I don't know what these are going for now, but I got um this many just because I thought it'd be a good idea. That's right, that's right. Uh, ooh, no damage on this one. So this, I believe so. Yeah, this one escaped the, the, the dooming fate of the, uh, the scratch marks. All right, and this guy looks pretty good too. I have no complaints on that. Followed by this one. We have to check them. Got to check them. Looking good, looking good. And then this. Okay, the red one looks sharp. No crazy marks running up and down the sides. And the green one looks good too. All right, so it was just a fluke. It was just that one. I'm pretty happy with that. All right, let's see what's inside of here. Got to open it like this because it otherwise doesn't open easily. All right, here we go, here we go. What do we got here? Door number two. Whoosh, boom. Oh, my God. Another Nissa. What? They didn't put just nothing but Nissa in these, did they? We have back-to-back -back Nissas. Who shakes them bongos? That is dirty. Dirty girl. Um, And look, we don't have the dots on this one. Hooray. Wow. Well, that would be the tiniest misprint on the first one. <laughs> More like factory damage. That's how I look at it. But let me know your thoughts on that. Okay, we have one more to go. We're going to save this one for last. I want to get into some mail here. But I'm curious if you get nothing but Nissa inside of these. You know, like what is inside of these? All right, this is going to be from the, I think it's the Bentleys. The Bentleys have sent me out something. Let's take a look at what's inside. Thank you guys for sending this out. And I'm sorry about the fan mail um, being so sluggish for me to get it opened. But, okay, I have to pull this back really quick off camera just in case there's anything crazy. Um, so, oh, boy. Oh, wow, that looks really cool. <laughs> You'll see what I'm talking about in one second. Wow, that looks cool. All right, there's some return stuff going on here. What's all this? What's all this? Okay, it looks like some uh, some stuff that's going to be signed. Okay, and here we go. This is gift. Wow, wow. Let's let, wow. Hold on. Let's let's read this really quick. <sighs> okay, here we go. Keep being super. Woo! Not bad, dear Mr. Moss. Thank you for all the work you do putting out content during all the craziness of the world. The kids. Um, uh, Luna, mom, uh, mom of two girls plus two stepkids. The work you do was very well, uh, was very welcome. Oh, oh, thank you very much. And thank you for being a great mama. There you go. Luna, Vivian, and I did craft projects to fill the time. And closed is two of those projects. One that is special for you. Plus another. 
for your son. Oh, oh wonderful. Which one? I have two sons. <laughs> if you could please sign the enclosed cards for us. Uh, see the enclosed. Uh, labeled them for you. Awesome. This was for fun. Um, I hope uh, I hope gives you a smile. You will always have the most powerful magic card in the game. Oh, my goodness. Skadoosh. Becca, Luna, Vivian, Joey, Ava, and Joe Bentley. Keep being super. Thank you for sending that out. Um, let's take a look. I'm pumped. I am pumped. I like gifts. Who doesn't like gifts? Everyone likes gifts. All right, here we go. Here we go. Oh my god. Let's just let's 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 wow. Wow. Oh man. Get a load of that. Whoa. That is super sharp. Oh my gosh. That took some time. You got the life counters on there and an evolving wilds. You know that's like the most sought after common ever printed, right, guys? Oh man. You got that. Look at the depth. Look at the depth. Wow. That's like 15, 20 cards right there in one. Oh my gosh. That is breathtaking. It truly, truly is. Thank you so much. And the foil on the back there. Wow. You did a bang up job absolutely amazing absolutely amazing that is crazy Ooh, for your kiddo yeah i like this i'm assuming this is for um for aj if i can get this out here you know what i'm gonna leave it like this he'll appreciate it i really want to see the back art there though maybe we should get it out let's get it out let's get it out let's get it out there we go shrink just like that baby just like that come on Oof, you did a great job packaging, I'll tell you that. Slip and slide? Can we slip and slide? Come on, come on out. Come on out, Daddy-o. Shrink. There we go. Okay. All right, getting past this. Remarkable. These are very thick, in case you guys haven't noticed by now. Uh, yeah, these are incredibly thick. Wow. Look at that. Got the little beads shining up and down. Absolutely cool. Um, how long did this take to make? Anyone else make these? Uh, pretty neat. A lot of detail involved. Really cool. He's going to like this a lot. He's going to like this a lot. He'll be arriving very soon. He might even be here right now. Uh, there you have it. Really, really nice. Thank you, guys. Uh, that Evolving Wilds, though, takes the cake, no doubt. That is freaking phenomenal. And there's some stuff in here to sign. I'm not going to do this on uh, on camera. I'll do it off camera. But uh, there you go. For Becca. Okay. And they got everyone's name. Oh, okay. For, for Luna. Okay. Wonderful. For Joe B. All right, yeah, I will get all these signed, and they'll be right back sent to you. There you have it. Awesome sauce. All right, let's get to the next. Thank you so much, guys, for sending that out. That's cool. That is so freaking cool. By the way, I save all my fan mail. All this goes into a box. It goes into a special, special box. This is true. It's, it's, a, it's a very growing box right now. All right, now we have, hope I say this right, Josiah. I know it looks like Josiah. Josiah? I think maybe the, the J is silent. Josiah, I hope I'm saying that right. Now, this young chap has been has been taunting me <laughs> for the last 14 days. Day 14 and commenting on Joey Moss's video. Hope he opens my fan mail. Well, buddy, here it finally is. Keepers. Ooh, we got some stuff here. What is going on? Josiah, thank you for sending this out. Sorry about the delay. But, uh, yeah, fan mail can sometimes be a little tough to get to. Don't show on camera. Okay, yeah, so there's an address here. I'm going to fold this back so you can't see. There we go. Okay. Skadoosh. Uh, what's up, my big ninja? Help me, let me make sure there's no uh, swear words on this because then I would have to just get rid of it. Okay. Uh, here we go. Okay. Yeah, good luck pronouncing it. I just want to start out by saying I love your videos and your voice in general is very soothing. Yeah, right, man. I have been <laughs> using your classification fling deck. Or as I like to call it, the yeet to delete. Yeah, I sent some cards that I would like you to sign and send back. I sent some cards that I have never seen before and it is completely broken. And I would like you to keep them and make a deck with them. Also, I have a favor to ask. I purchased a booster box, but didn't get any companions. That's nice. If you would be so kind to send me a couple of your choice, that would really make my day. But I understand if you won't. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. Also, I have... I'm just, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Also, I do have a request for your channel. I would like to see more of the battles with the patrons, as they are really fun to watch. Or better yet, do some battles with your son. Also, if you could make a budget and fast mill deck for modern or standard... I already have one. It's, uh, I think, a turn one. I don't know if it's for modern, though. I'm not sure. I would appreciate that very much from Josiah. I will make a, a mill deck, though, sure. Good luck pronouncing that. Josiah Connor Dogner. 
Did I say it right? Did I say it right? I, I gave it a shot, man. I gave it a shot. All right. Let's see what's all up inside of here. Whoop. We got the keeps. And we got the sign. So here's what's all getting signed and sent back to him. Of course, the best card on the planet, Evolving Wild. Best card. You can't argue it, man. It's the best uh, It's the best on common land there is. There's no doubt about it. There's no two ways about it. I'm going to slide these right back in here. And then the keepers. Let's see what's all gravy, baby. Oh, yes. You can't go wrong with Evolving Wilds. You know what? I got to be honest here, guys. I think I have about... 500 Evolving Wilds that you guys have sent me now. You know, I should have made a meme out of a different card. Like, uh, you know, I don't know, like Jace or something, the Mind Sculptor. And see how that went, you know. <laughs> Just throwing it out there. See how that would have went, you know. I will get these signed to you and sent back for sure. Josiah, thank you for sending this out. Really, really cool. Thank you for the Evolving Wilds. We got a few more to go. But also, baby, this one came from Sabatica, it says. This one's a uh, good old... Uh, is it Yamjan Damjan Kapor? I've been saying that right. Let's see what oh, what is up in here. I take it off camera for a second just because sometimes people put addresses on them, and I wouldn't I don't want to have to edit the video, you know. All right, so there's this along with all of this. Okay, let's see what we got. Hopefully, no address here. Okay, no address. Looking good. Looking good. Okay. It's Damien coming to you all the way from Serbia. I typed this out so you don't have to put up with my atrocious handwriting. Mine's pretty bad, too. Anyway, with all the stuff you give out and all the stuff I've seen you get back, I always wanted to send you something, too, considering where I'm from, though. It can be a bit pricey. This, however, was too poetic to pass up. I've been a patron of yours for about a year now, and a few months ago I got the Gideon, the foil Gideon ally of Zendikar. Not much of a white player, so it's been sitting in my binder as a little more than a trophy. Until a friend of mine opened an Eldraine Collector booster and happened to pull a certain card. A certain card you really wanted an extended art version of. Oh, I'm not sure if you already got one by now, but since this friend is an avid white player and the foil Gideon happened to be the same value as the said card, I made the trade, and here you go. Best wishes and skadoosh from all your fans at our local uh, local game store, Collected Company, a small but friendly community. Wonderful. Check them out if you're out in Serbia. There you go. All the way from Serbia. Yes, oh yes, all the way from Serbia. Oh, my goodness. What do we got here? Thank you for sending this out. Really cool, Damien. Oh, yeah, the Hushbringer, baby. Absolutely, freaking lootly I love this card. That looks brilliant. I have one of those luscious lips. You know what I'm saying? Really, really cool. Flying lifelink. Creatures under the battlefield are dying. Don't cause abilities to trigger. Yes. Absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. Really sharp. And it's like mint condition. Nice trade you did there, my good sir. Thank you so much for sending that up. Um, Damien, really cool you, man. And all the people at Collected Company. Haru, hooray, hurrah. Thank you, guys. All right, we got, uh, let's see. We got Pick Me, Pick Me MTG. Send out something. Let's see what's up inside of here. Also, I do have a bunch of boxes, uh, fan mail boxes. I will be getting out to you really soon. Um, there's like, oh my gosh, uh, they're big. One's, one's gigantic. Like, you, you wouldn't believe it. You would not believe how big this one is. It's, it's just insane. It's, it's insanity. All right, what do we got here? Okay, let's see. Uh, I, okay, hi there. I run an Instagram and YouTube account for giving away magic cards. One of my uh, recent winners is from Denmark. I do not ship out of the U.S., so I asked if they would like to gift the card to someone. And you were mentioned. Wow. Okay, so here is a card and message from one of your fans. Their YouTube handle is Nerf Elementals. There you go. Nerf Elementals. Give them a check. If that rings a bell. Skadoosh! Hi, bad boy, MTG. I have watched your videos for a while and wanted to send you a card. I got the card from a giveaway I won on Instagram. Pick me, MTG. Plugs. There you go. Um, could you please sign and send back the Niambi? Anyway, have a nice day. They sound like a, uh, they sound like a big fun. What? Okay. Uh, they provided an email. Oh, I get it. Okay, reach out. Okay, there's an... Okay, okay. Can't imagine you want to actually mail this to Denmark, but maybe just an email. I'll figure it out. We'll get. We'll, we'll, we'll make sense of it. We'll make sense of it. Kind of weird how it ended up in my hands, but um, yeah. So there it is. The Niambi from M21. Not too bad. We'll get that sent back. I got to make sure I don't lose track of all the craziness going on here. We will figure this out. Okay. Really cool. That was fun. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's see. What a what is in this last guy. And then we have one more drop series to go. 
Question mark. Yeah, there was no name on this one. So oh, I better pull back. Better pull back, baby. Okay, here we go. Oh, we have some fun stuff. Oh, this reminds me of my grandma do. Oh, okay. okay, okay. This goes over here. Keep this off. What do we got here? What do we got here? We got some, some Halloween stuff going on. All right, we got a please sign. Oh, that's nasty. That is dirty. And we got return. Okay. What's up? What is up? Okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay, here we go. What's up? I wanted to uh, send this to you to say how much I love the channel. I love watching your videos when I have uh, time during my day. Anyways, lo love seeing the products you open. Wonderful on your pools. You actually got me back into magic. Beautiful. I love hearing that. Thank you so much for all the joy you're giving me and others. I include a couple cool stickers. A copy of Lotus Field for you. Nice. You to keep and another you to sign. Thank you so much for all your amazing content. Well, thank you for sending this out. Um, This is like a mystery person name. Uh, who is this? There's no name. They just They just wanted to send this. That's it. And they gave us some sweet little stickers for Halloween times. Good times for Halloween. <laughs> I dig it. Please sign. Okay. There is this to sign. I will do that. Absolutely. And, uh, yeah, I believe this guy is the Keepers. Uh, maybe? I don't know. It looks like it. That's pretty legit. That's a nice card right there. You can't go wrong with that. Good old Eldritch Moon. Really legit. All right. All right. We'll make sure that all happens, Captain. Woo! Okay. Got some fan mail out of the way. Feeling gravy, baby. Feeling good about that. What a what is in this last secret layer? Let's find out together. Could it be another Nyssa? Are the lands damaged? Nobody knows. We're going to find out. Let's see. Let's take a look-see. Oh, boy. Give it one quick look. See if anything's damaged. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Whoop. Okay. Um, the backs all look pretty good. Okay. Go through is kind of quick. That one looks fine. That one looks fine. A little mark right there, though. There's a little ding on the card. You see that? That's a little ding. That's right. All right. Not bad. Looks good. So far, so good. That one looks good. We're looking good. The swamp looks good, finally. So centering is just a little off still on all of them. But overall, I mean, I guess I can't really complain too much on these ones. A little off, uh, off centering. Like that immediately would not grade a BGS 9.5. It wouldn't even it maybe get a nine just because of the centering. So there you go. All right, and lastly, lastly, right here, what do we got? What do what do we got? And yeah, you know how I showed the Planeswalker code? I know, guys. I'm crazy like that. That was fun. First come, first serve. But what we're gonna do? Um, I'm gonna give away uh, the lands for arena for uh, uh, to somebody. That's what the real winning is all about there. So someone's going to get the land code for Arena. All right, here we go. What is it? Another Nissa. So these are not rare at all. We pulled three Nissas, one in every single box. Yikes. This The price on this card has to be, like, really low. Oh, my goodness. All right, unless we just got three Nissas at, and we're lucky to pull all three Nissas. That's something else. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure you leave that thumbs up. It does help out a lot. And you know what, guys? Go skadoosh yourself. All right? We'll see you. Boosh. Uh...